Quit taking my kills, motherfuckers. I don't want to sit. One down. Hey, get good, bro. Get your accuracy up. Shove your fucking assist up your ass. I ain't gonna get the kill on you, fucking assist. Hit your shots, then. Hit your shots, then. What's up? Suck my dick. You suck my dick, bro. Hit your shots. Dick suck. Suck my dick, bro. And dude, you're so. <laughs> hey, yo, man, this dude is hostile as hell. God damn. Dude is mad as hell for no reason. Yo, these kids are not moving. There's an MP5 at. I'm trying to pick this up. There it is. But you got a problem. You keep talking about. You keep talking about dick, bro. You got. You might. You got a problem. Yo, what the fuck? Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Ears. Hope you guys are having a great rest of your day, start to your day, whatever time it may be. And I'm be showcasing some gameplay of the new AK-47 Windigo Blueprint as well as doing a live gameplay breakdown with this weapon. If you guys want me to continue doing the live gameplay breakdowns in real time, explaining what I'm doing in game as I'm actually playing the match, make sure you guys absolutely smash like button the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on those post notifications so you guys stay up to date with all of my new content. Now this variant's actually pretty cool. I'm gonna showcase what it looks like right now. It actually has an all white finish to it. Now personally I think this is one of the best looking AK-47s and honestly one of the best looking camos in the entire game. Let me know down in the comment section right now, what is your favorite weapon to use in Modern Warfare? I find myself using the AK-47, the AUG, and the PP-19 Bison a lot in this game, and I'm really curious on what you guys enjoy to use. I hope to see, you know, a lot of weapon variety and not only the M4, but, you know, if you guys like the M4, let me know. Now, for the attachments on the AK, I'm running the Monolith Suppressor, the Spetsnaz Elite Barrel, which allows me to have increased damage range and increased bullet velocity, the Commando Foregrip, rubberized grip tape as well as fully loaded now keep in mind if you guys actually do cop this variant if you guys take off the spetsnaz elite barrel it's actually going to take off that white finish on the barrel of the weapon so if you guys want to keep the all white look keep on the spetsnaz elite barrel but personally you know if, if i were to go ahead and actually create a proper ak-47 class setup i would take off this spetsnaz elite barrel and replace it for the skeleton stock but for video purposes i'm showcasing it with the spetsnaz elite barrel so you guys can see exactly how this weapon looks and kind of its full camo finish. With all being said, let's jump right into the gameplay breakdown. All right, y'all, we're using the new AK-47 Wendigo. Now, we're going to be trying to do a live gameplay breakdown. A lot of you guys seem to enjoy that when I do these uh, kind of the breakdowns live when the game's like actually happening. We need to get to this under, we need to get under the bridge area of this map. All right, switch to the Deagle there because... <laughs> the deagle don't mess around all right now right now i need to make sure and check that there's nobody under the bridge there's not now what you guys are seeing here is i'm actually running tracker now i recently started using tracker because um it's actually a very good perk if you guys are trying to figure out where the enemies are camping as well as some of the players that are trying to flank now again i'm like in my spot underneath the bridge here i always like to lock down this position because uh when my teammates are not pushed up properly on the right hand side of the map um you want to make sure you have this area locked down now, i don't like to camp for the whole game because obviously you know i'm not trying to promote camping but until my teammates kind of get pushed up which they are right now um Having that area locked down is very, very important. And you guys need to make sure you guys are doing that. So right now, drop my airstrike actually on their side of the map. Getting hit markers. Right now, I'm gonna try to make a push. Put a Betty up there. You always want to make sure you go in this corner here. Now, like I said, I don't recommend camping, but going in that corner is super, super important. 
I've been playing on this map. I might advance UAV here. Came out there. Now my controller is actually currently broken, so we're gonna try to make the best out of this advanced UAV usage. Uh, there's a lot of guys around me right now. Oh, we got taken out. Damn, I should have dropped my VTOL jet. Oh well. What we can do here? I always like when they bring like these whiteout kind of style weapons because. I don't know, I like the guns that are like, you know, have these white finishes, the murdered out finishes. Oh, I just got deleted. He must have, he must have landed a headshot first or something, because I died so unbelievably fast. Jesus. So we can do here, though. Um, St. Petrograd, I haven't played St. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my goodness. I haven't played St. Petrograd in so long, and, I, and that's literally the reason why, is because... I feel like there's just so much camping that goes on on this map. It's just unbelievable. Come out there. Come I out. have to reload. All right, there you go, teammate. Kill confirmed. I gotta get a UAV up. We have an idea of where these guys are at. We go UAV. Go back down over here. Come out. Kill confirmed. Enemy at the center. Command is ours. Maintain pressure. But let me know what you guys think about this AK variant. Um. Come out there. Got the VTOL on oh, we got a VTOL jet. We're gonna throw that like in the back over there. Now, usually when I play on this map, you kind of have to play. You kind of have to play slow because of the way that other people play this board. Uh, people don't really move, and you always want to kind of stick to the outskirts. Makes me falling it back. I'm just gonna pop my dead silence right here. We got taken out. We're gonna cross over here. Pick up that guy there. Pick that up. Figure out where these guys are at. Alright, he's gonna come on, peek back out. I hear this guy running around. There we go. Got the advance UAV. Played super slow for that advance because on this map you kind of have to play smart. Um, that guy out there. That guy out there. Let me get my death silence popped. See if we can get busy in their spawn. Woo. Take that guy out there. He has the whiteout variant as well. Kill confirmed. Okay, they're spawning all the way out again. Gonna push through mid. Come out there. That was incredibly lucky. Reloading. 
Come on, peek. We're halfway there. Come out there. Kind of don't want to make a position, a move until I get my dead silence again. I took those two guys out there. A lot of guys, I think. Out there, we're not 20. He's crossing. So come out there. There's a lot of guys coming from this way. I'm going to pop my dead silence. Oh my god, I got he he, hand, he landed a headshot. He heard my teammate and he he landed a headshot. Ah, the 20, bro. That's incredible. He heard my teammate and he landed a headshot. If you made it this far into the video, odds are you enjoy the content or you are a very loyal subscriber and I cannot thank you guys enough for your everlasting support. If you guys are unaware, every single night at 11.45 p.m. Central Time and also every single morning at 11.15 a.m. Central Time, I am live streaming over on Twitch. On Twitch, I'm playing Modern Warfare with viewers, subscribers, anybody who wants to go ahead, interact with me, or run a couple games of Modern Warfare. You can go ahead and find my Twitch channel by searching in twitch.tv slash earsxbl in the Google search bar, or going on Twitch and typing in earsxbl. My channel's gonna be the first thing that pops up. Make sure you guys go ahead and drop me a follow. We are on the road to 8,000 followers, as well as if you guys have Twitch Prime and wanna hook your boy up, that'd be greatly appreciated. And if you guys do actually subscribe to the channel with Twitch Prime, or actually use a tier one sub make sure you guys let me know over on twitter my link is gonna be down in the description below tweet me a picture and i'll make sure to follow you guys back and give you guys a personalized thank you appreciate all the support you guys have been showing on the videos you guys are absolutely amazing and i hope to see as many of you guys over on the twitch streams as possible with all being said i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video deuces